Hey everybody and welcome to True Crime Paranormal with the Psychic Sisters. This is Katie Weaver and I'm here with my co-anchor, sister, and partner in crime, Christy Brower. Hello. Hello. Hey everybody. Woo, it's Thursday, which is my Friday. Nice. Woo. Kind of my Friday this week too, actually. Yeah, it is. I'll take it. Yeah. Well, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful week. It is the psychic hour. Yes, it is. We are excited. Or the psychic half an hour tonight? Yeah, tonight. (laughs) Psychic half an hour. (laughs) That just doesn't roll off the tongue, you know? Not quite the same, but... Yeah, it's true, though. It is our niece's birthday, and we've had a terrible time coming together on a time to be able to celebrate her birthday with the family. So tonight it is. So we're going to do a kind of late barbecue (laughs) to celebrate her birthday. So we are going to make this a 30 minute show tonight so that we can be there for that. Poor kid. She's like preteen, you know, Mm -hmm. she's just at that age where like she really needs the women in her family to really circle around her, but she doesn't know that yet. Right. So she's like, you guys are weird and annoying, you know, and we're all going, (laughs) why are you always talking to me? (laughs) Right. I can remember my mom and grandmas and aunts being weird Mm -hmm. and uncomfortable about this age, you know, yeah, yeah, that's true. I remember that too. And they're all looking at you going, okay, you are weird and awkward and we're going to wrap you up, you know, and help you because this is the age you are and we get it, but you don't know that. So you, you're a little weirded out by everyone being so, I don't know, attentive. Yes, yes, yes. That is very true. Yeah. So I'm in the store today, really uh, puzzling over exactly the right thing to get her. And then of course, Scott's like, I if you really think she's going to care about this, you're crazy. And I'm like, well, yes, she will. You know, I am an yeah. aunt. This is my job. Come on. Right. Right. And I got her some jewelry making supplies. Because Ooh, I thought, oh, she that. Yeah. And she's home bored for the summer, you know, thought maybe it would give her some things to do. So anyway, she'll hate I it. Got her her some money, but... money on Amazon.com. Right. Cause... And who doesn't love that? What girl doesn't like to shop? And we know she does. So that's right. Hey, I'm 43 and I still love it when somebody gives me money on Amazon. You know, dude, please just Best spend on whatever ever. you want. Yeah. Okay. But um, let's be real. Amazon visits this house several times a week. <laughs> yes, we live in a pretty rural place. So yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ridiculous. We have a lot of options. I'll just be perfectly honest. Yeah. Well, we want to welcome the chatters. We have Red Girl, JR, Renee, Innocuous, RJ. So we do have the, the dynamic duo, JR and RJ. We have Jessica and we have Bianca. Jessica says, ah, that weird, awkward age, right? <laughs> yeah, y'all remember it. We all, we, we're all there one day. I may still be there. I'm not sure. but I, It depends on the moment for me. Right, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, Cranky. So... We are going to uh, talk a little bit about the energy this week and do some readings out of the chat. So that's what we are working on. Oh, Kate said she just finished last week's show and her solar plexus is shining. Damn right. So we're actually going to do a tiny bit of singing will work tonight, too, because I know you need it. We're going to do some grounding. Mm -hmm. I had a phone call today. This lady scheduling an appointment for two weeks out for something for me. She says, "Okay, well, we can send somebody in. Uh, in two weeks from tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, so that's a Saturday. She says, it's a Friday. I said, today's Friday. She said, (laughs) it's a Friday, the day he can come. And I said, isn't that Saturday? And she said, it'd be a Friday. I got off the phone and dead ass told my husband that appointment was for Saturday. (laughs) And he goes, wait, what's the date? And I said, July 2nd. And he goes, that's a Friday. And I said, but she said, two weeks from today, Oh, yeah, that's a Friday. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I am the problem. (laughs) Love it. Love it. So I know you guys probably need to ground because, um, well, so do I. Hello, Alan. Cranky said she's still awkward. I hear you. Me too. Obviously, this poor lady on the phone. She probably she said, I'm going to have him call 30 minutes before he comes. Yeah, probably to make sure that I know what the (laughs) hell day it is. (laughs) You know what freaking day it is. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> well, it's it's the home assessor. We're having our home assessed. And Scott said, when the assessor comes, I think I should probably talk to him. 
I said, <laughs> I think I should load up the dogs and take them on a drive. <laughs> well, I will say that yesterday I showed up to a doctor's appointment at 345. That was actually at 245. So oh. I never do that. I put everything right in my phone. Like I really do pretty well with keeping track of things like that. I was really flummoxed the whole time. I'm like, really? Really? Yeah, yeah really, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, walked out of there hanging my head in shame. Now I can't see my migraine doctor for two more weeks. Great. Oh, that wow. move on me. Damn it. That is yeah. so frustrating. Oh, uh, yeah. Especially when it's my own damn fault. I, no. I, I have no idea. I assume it is my fault, but I swear to you <laughs> on a stack of crystal Bibles <laughs> that crystal I Bibles. got that time right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only kind of Bible I swear on. So, you know. Yeah. Judy Hall, you know. Well, it happens to the best of us. I've done it yes, too. It <laughs> uh, I do have a tiny bit of show and tell. Oh, it's been well. a while since I've really Me been too. in the studio and made anything very exciting. Right. But I have because we have a wedding this weekend. And so I made this tray. So pretty. Yeah. Oof, love it. So much glare, but isn't that pretty? Yes. So excited about it. Yeah. And I had extra, tons of extra resin because I can't ever pour the right amount of resin. And you don't want to pour not enough because then you're really screwed. And so right. you have to pour too much. So you're always coming up with something. But anyway, I poured this little hamsa hamsa ham tray. That's pretty. I should give this to Brookie. I think this is going into my gift. Ooh, for her jewelry mean? she's making. Okay. Okay, boom. <laughs> Problem solved. And this cute little camp holder. Yeah. Ooh, I love it. See, I love it. But I'm going to be in the studio more because I'm getting really something really cool for my birthday. Yes, you are. And I need to tell you guys about my birthday. So, my birthday's next Thursday. We'll be here on my birthday for the psychic Ooh, hour, which is really yes, fun. We will. But on my show, my psychic show that I do on Tuesday mornings, every year on that show, I do a birthday giveaway. And so we do a drawing from the chat room and we give away usually stuff that I've made and readings and sometimes stuff Scott made me throws in at the last minute. I don't know. So mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure and invited you guys. So if you just follow me here on YouTube, Domestic Mystic here on YouTube. That's where it's at. It's also through 12radio.com. That's the radio network that I work for that mm -hmm. I broadcast that show, but I also do a live stream of it. So Domestic Mystic here on YouTube or Domestic Mystic on Facebook. I live stream it in both places. And it is at 11 a.m. Mountain, no, Pacific. 11 a.m. Pacific, noon mm -hmm. Mountain. So that would be 2 Eastern, 2 p.m. Eastern. So come. All you've got to do is comment and play with us in the chat and we'll maybe we'll give you something. It's just mm -hmm. a really fun day. So yes, it is. that's my plug for my birthday show. But for my birthday, I'm getting a sublimation printer, which is uh, it's just a cool thing that you can print. Uh, it prints on a really special paper that then you apply it to things with heat. And it's just really cool. So I th there's a long explanation you don't need. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be able to make the coolest stuff and I'm so excited. So you are. back I'm to the studio excited. with me, right? Yes. I'm always lucky because I'm regularly the recipient of these cool things, which is awesome. I'm loving it. Yeah. Wow. So let's do a little singing bowl work. Okay. Let's talk about the energy of the week and then let's do some, actually let's talk about energy first and then we'll do the singing bowl. I think I'm in the wrong order. So when you are interfacing with people this week and just feeling the uh, the going collective, what comes up for you? Well, definitely the ungroundedness and just, you know, having a little bit difficult time connecting. Um, I was laying on the couch earlier looking at TikTok and I told Rhonda I was being a potato. And that's because that's kind of how I felt all week. Like I have needed to disconnect a bit. Yeah. And it's really felt like that. So if you have been a bit of a potato this week, do not worry. That is okay. It is allowed. I have really limited um, 
some news, some social media. I don't know. I've been like all down the rabbit hole on Reddit and staying away from other forms of social media because I love Reddit because I can really pick specifically what I'm reading about and learning about and not get, you know, bombarded with a bunch of crap I didn't want to. <laughs> uh -huh. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, it's been that kind of a week. So if you've been pulling back a little bit, and feeling like I need a break or I just need to lay on this couch for a while, that is totally okay. Uh huh. Absolutely. Well, I'm 100% there with you. Really, really low energy. And I'm hearing it from all of my clients like, oh, the hell is wrong with me? I cannot get off the couch. I'm not getting anything done. Yeah, no, no one is. Uh, Mercury is still retrograde. Uh, Pluto has done a thing. I don't know what a thing. And, something, I don't know. Yeah, and it's very Triple hot, up. likely where you live. It's probably very hot uh, because it seems like uh, everywhere is really hot US. right now. And so, yeah, that's definitely a part of it. The other part of it is contention. Uh, people are prickly, super prickly. Mm -hmm. And part of it probably is the heat because, man, when you're super hot, you're just pissed off, you know? But I, a lot of it, too, is just this energetic vibe right now. And one thing I'm hearing from clients in the workplace is that there's a lot of just uh, kind of petty, contentious energy going on. And mm -hmm. people being really snappy with each other, uh, just in general, not very nice. <laughs> and mm -hmm. That's really hard on my empaths, you know, that think yeah. that everybody's happiness is their problem. You know, and they're worried about it and worried about everybody else. And I mean, the, the fact is right now, just keep your eyes on your own paper. Uh, to use one of Christie's better phrases. I love that one. Uh, it is one of my favorites. Yes. It's a good one. And worry about yourself because everybody is doing their own thing right now. And you're definitely going to run into people that are not their best self right now. Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. Try not to take it personally. Just stay away. Yeah. But yeah, that is very much where we are. Yep. It's uh, it's heavy. heavy yeah, it, it has been, and I it's gonna get better over the weekend. I really feel like yeah. it's it will. You know, it's the solstice this weekend, and uh, I feel think we're gonna feel some some you know releasing of pressure, and things are gonna lighten up. Yes, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it is leading. I think always leading up to a solstice, we kind of have this weird. Mm -hmm. pressure I just want to stay away from everything kind of time and, and and that's what's happening right now yeah 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 I was thinking that too with the solstice actually I'm really hoping that, oh, that red girl it was 118 should. Tuesday with the heat index oh Jesus no um, no uh, we're we're bitching about 91 over here uh -huh. with like oh it was uh, it was 95 on Monday 95. that's right but our yeah. humidity is real low so <laughs> Yeah, 118. I just, I don't think I could live. I just, I don't. Mm -mm. I would just be in my basement. Just, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I really feel for you guys. Of course, you probably do live somewhere where you have AC. And <laughs> mm -hmm. Christy, you do have AC. I do not. I do. But, uh, boo. But we do have fans and, you know, we're fine. Oh, Alan says only 101 there. Alan oh, also. Only Alan. He had a pro tip on how to make holy water. Yeah. This is easy, you guys. You boil the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah. He'll be here. Why, thank you, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Very much appreciated. Yes. Oh, Red Girl says no basements here. Oh, good oh, word. Yes. We oh, have that NAC, so we'll be okay. Oriana uh, had a fire right next to her house. Yikes. Uh, yeah, two houses burned down about seven hours apart here in Idaho Falls. Oh, my God. Um, Like last night and this morning. I know. Crazy. Weird, 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 weird week. Mm, no, no, no. That's yeah. terrible. Yep. Well, the, there's the fire. I'm, I'm mostly worried this year about, well, not mostly. Well, maybe the fires in the West this year. Because oh, yeah. of it, we had a very dry winter. We're going to burn, Those baby, burn. Very full. Yeah, if we haven't had. Uh, the last few years, we've had kind of a monsoon season in June. We have not yeah, had that. We did not get Things that. are already looking very dry. I'm very worried about what California, Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, what we're going to look like. Yeah, it's not going to be good. Washington. Oh, Washington the last few years. Yeah. Yep. 
Yep, yep. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, see, so Red Girls in Mississippi with all that humidity. Oh, yeah, no. Good Lord. No, no. I saw some people on TikTok talking about a thing called swamp ass. Yeah, mm, that's yeah, a hard yeah. no from me. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I've seen that as well. <laughs> Well, should we do that singing bowl so we can get to a few readings before we get on out of here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, anyway, I'm, I'm holding space that we will have a very gentle fire year, but it worries me. Montana's already burning. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've had several little fires too. Yeah, we have. So boo on that. Okay. All right. Well, with that being said, let's do a little singing bowl work. So this is a root chakra bowl. Okay. A little different than the bowl you saw last time. This is a Tibetan bowl. Nice. So I am going to play the bowl. And I'm just going to ask you first to focus your energy in your root chakra. Your root is from the fork of your legs to the bottoms of your feet and down into the earth. And I'm going to ask you first to just sit here with this... Uh, frequency and allow it to clear out anything in your root that's no longer serving you. Any blocks, any stuck energy, any psychic debris, anything that you don't need anymore. So let's do that mm -hmm. first. I'm going to hold this for us as we're doing that. This is a great nice. big chunk of um, smoky quartz from oh, Crystal Park, Montana. Perfect. Now, this time I am going to play the bowl and I am going to ask you to envision red tree roots growing out of the bottoms of your feet, driving deep, deep, deep into the earth. And then we're just going to let that energy, the energy of the earth, seep back up those roots and all the way up into your root chakra, creating a reciprocal energy there, helping you to be grounded, centered, and at one with the energy of the earth. Here we go. Sending those red tree roots from the bottoms of your feet all the way into the earth. And driving them deeper and deeper and deeper. of the earth to move up those roots and all the way up into you. Good. Okay. So there's a bit of centering. Hopefully it helps everyone to know that today is Thursday. <laughs> and maybe you'll make all of your appointments tomorrow. <laughs> sure I don't does. know. Bonus. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make sure we did that. I will tell you that the, uh, the third Thursday of the, or the third Tuesday of the month, uh, Spirit School is mine. And we're going to do a chakra balancing with singing bowls. So nice. I'll have I'll bring seven bowls in and we'll work all the way mm -hmm. from the root mm -hmm. to the crown. Yeah. Awesome. That's some so awesome work. the fourth Sunday of the month is my um, spirit school uh, time and I will be teaching a soul Alexis class about how to boost self-esteem and work on self-trust. Oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. See, we've got so much good stuff going on. 
I know. And that, uh, let's see, that third, uh, well, actually, so that'll be on the 22nd, that class with me on the 22nd. And mm -hmm. then, Christy, you will be on the 27th. Yep. Okay. And that's and very you know. cool. If you're not in there, you can do it by joining our membership over on YouTube. And you yeah. can join and, and catch it already. Yes. You know, before before the before the fact. Yeah. Yep. Come join us. Spirit Soul School is fun. That's just a fun extra way for us to connect with you guys and mm -hmm. teach you some of what we know. We've been doing this for a super long time. Let's see. So we wanted to take a few questions out of the chat before we jet off to a birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> so JR said in NYC, a woman named Cassandra Ramirez is missing. What do you see? Who did it? And is she with us? She was once a neighbor of mine. JR, how long has she been missing? Curious about that. I'm going to watch for your answer there. I want to make sure that we're. Yeah, we talked about this a little bit last night and I recommended that JR send it to us in a in an email so that we can actually look at it maybe for a case because we can't. Yeah, it here. let's do do that. I'd rather yeah do a full investigation on it. Yeah, yeah. give it a little more time. Me too. Yep. Let's see. And Red Girl got her first COVID shot, but it's making her feel super tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did that to me, too. I'm with you. Yeah. And yet it's nice to have it done. Yeah. yeah. 2018. Hey, you know what? I would take a full look at that case. Yeah. So send it to us in a form or just even over on Facebook if you want to just send us a Facebook message and we'll take a hold of it. But mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, good. Bianca said, I just started my weight loss journey this week, and I need a little encouragement. Does Spirit have any advice? You want to take that from Bianca? You betcha. Yeah, Bianca, first and foremost, of course, be kind to yourself. Don't, you know, get frustrated with yourself if things don't change immediately. But I have this really strong feeling that some of your weight is self-protection and so looking at that aspect of it and the energy aspect of it would be really beneficial for you about how you may be protecting yourself from the world so not only doing the diet and exercise and whatever all you're doing but then to also look at the energetic part of it which is how are you using your body to protect yourself super important good yeah and keep at it Yep. And you find the right thing that your body vibes with, great. That's awesome. Okay, Elizabeth said she doesn't need a reading tonight, but says the clearing from last week helped her so much. Elizabeth, I'm so happy to hear that. Good. Wonderful. Yeah. Let's see. Red Girl said, are you good at finding things? Both of my glasses are missing. I suggest a cat. I agree with you suggest a cat i feel like one pair got batted under a dresser or a bed mm -hmm. i feel like it's under some furniture because i'm yeah. seeing it amidst a little bit of lint and hair mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. i think it's under a piece of furniture where it's a little wrapped up in that yeah. the other one is actually under paper so look under like mail or a newspaper that kind of thing but yeah uh -huh. i see the one under furniture too they both exist. I think you'll actually find them both close to the same time and be like, okay, what the hell? <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Love you too. Always appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with us. Uh, Oriana said, I had a dream that my dog Ginger was in. Okay, Ginger passed not too long ago. She was mm -hmm. so happy. Her neck was being rubbed by my mom. My dad was there too. I think she was telling me she's okay. I agree with that totally, honey. I also mm -hmm. feel like she wants you to know that she's still hanging out with dad and supporting him. Uh, I feel like at some point here, he's going to start talking about her a lot mm -hmm. and, you know, indicating that he's seeing her. Like he'll probably say things like he'll be calling her to the bed or, you know, or even telling her to, get away or you know, he, he could be grumpy. So who knows, you know, but right. I feel like he's going to be experiencing her in spirit. And he'll just be like, all right, yeah. I know what's going on here. Cause she is really close. Yeah. She sure is. She's not going anywhere right now. Yeah. Okay. 
Caitlin says, oh, I think that question disappeared. No, it's there. I think I've met the Delphi killer. Am I right? Ooh. I feel like you met somebody who had straight up evil in them and it chilled you to the bone. I don't know if I'm convinced it was the Delphi killer, but I do feel like you met someone who is really, really dark, truly like your, your spidey senses were right about, I'm not a hundred percent that it was the Delphi killer though. Mm -mm. No, but I can see why you'd think that, that there's some real darkness there. Yeah. Okay. Frankie says, how does the universe speak to me? What should I look for? I feel like you really need to look for gut feelings, Cranky, that you skip over your intuition a lot and discount it, and that you are having gut feelings on a regular basis about what is or isn't the right thing. And then you discount it and go, oh, no, that's nothing. That's not it. And, and so I want you to really pay attention to how you feel in your gut about any situation and start listening to that. Because those messages are there. And I know it's hard. And I don't, I'm not criticizing because it's hard for all of us to listen to that. And it's hard to trust it. But I really feel like there's some, there are some messages coming through in your intuition. But you, you go, oh, no, that's not it. Like it's it's not lightning in the sky. It's usually like a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach, really. Mm -hmm. So look for that. Very subtle stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. Well, you guys, believe it or not, that is all we have time for tonight. Yes, it is. We will be back next Thursday night, my birthday, for a mm -hmm. much longer show of readings and all the good stuff. Tonight we have to celebrate a birthday. So. Yes, <laughs> We are going to go. Susie, really quick. No, she's not. She's not. Um, she can be kind of sassy sometimes, though. I feel like she's got some uh, pretty spunky energy, but she's not dangerous to your health. No. Yeah. No. Okay. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Of course, you can watch for a couple of pop-ups from us this weekend, all of our regular mm -hmm. cases next week. And come join me on Tuesday over at Domestic Mystic here on YouTube at uh, noon mountain time for my birthday show. We'll do some giveaways mm -hmm. and have some fun. All right, guys. And of course, if you would like a reading from one of us, come see me, Katie Weaver, at 12listen.com and come see Christy at truecrimeparanormalpodcast.com to schedule an appointment. Yep. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good one. You've Bye, been everybody. listening to True Crime Paranormal with the Psychic